Hey folks, this is Ross with The Verge. Uh, we're here live at IFA 2012 in Berlin, and we're checking out the Samsung out of tab. More importantly, however, what we're looking at is a build 9200, the final build of Windows RT. Uh, something we haven't really got a good chance to look at. Uh, so we're gonna kind of dive into the menu, get some more of the details, uh, see what's actually different between this and kind of the classic x86 uh, Windows 8 version. All right, so as you can see, we've got this pretty much standard start menu. We can go to the desktop mode still, uh, load up File Explorer. It's the same as you've seen in the x86 version. In fact, you can kind of push down. You can still make folders. You can still access files really quickly. You can rename. Of course, you got to pop up the menu. Touch keyboard. There we go. Um, obviously, you can see this. It's not entirely optimized for a touch experience. And a lot of what you're going to see in the desktop mode uh, is still better catered, better suited for a keyboard and mouse. But it is there. All right, and you can see the apps. You've got the basic apps. You've got the Microsoft Office. We'll go back to that in a second. Uh, and then you've got your Windows accessories, your notepads, your paints. And unfortunately for that, um, for notepad, it's basically they're all the standard x86 mode. Um, you go with the classic mode. You can still you know, test this out, no auto crack. And that goes the same for Microsoft Office 2013. We're looking at the preview versions right now. So if you go to Excel right here, make a new work, new Excel sheet. You know, I want to do my taxes and make charts and stuff. Uh, it's still somewhat more touch friendly. Obviously, we've got these menus that come up. We can kind of use these. Uh, easy to touch for the most part. Um, it does get a little unwieldy here, unfortunately. Like, I'm not going to be able to very easily kind of push my way to print, to view. I mean, it's, it's an imperfect mode. Clearly, this is still more optimized for a keyboard and mouse, as is with everything in kind of the desktop mode. If you hold your finger down, you can get over to the screen resolution. Uh, oh, that's personalization. Again, like I said, the touch menus are really not suitable for touch. Let's get down there. Beautiful. OK, wonderful. Uh, so as you can see, the resolution is 1366 by 768. Nothing we can change on this hardware. Uh, we need to check out some of the other ones. Uh, one of the very few Windows RT models we've actually been able to see thus far. Uh, orientation, we can change portrait. We can flip landscape from here. See if I can do this. Okay. There we go. So let's keep changes. Uh, no accelerometer. It's not going to change on its own. Uh, I dear God hope there's an easier way of doing it. But right now it looks like the one option is to go to that very tiny menu, hit the very tiny portrait thing. Okay. There we go. And keep changes. All right. Much better. Crisis over everyone. We are back in normal mode. Okay, so now if you're actually going to settings, it's actually, you know, if you want to change your PC settings, you get the uh, once called Metro, now just Windows 8 UI design or whatever. Um, settings, you can do personalization. Nothing too uh, serious or uh, detailed here. If you want to do that, you can go to all apps, um, get to the like, control panel. Unfortunately, though, once you get to the more nuanced uh, settings, you are back in classic mode, which again, not very touch friendly. Let's see, you have very small fingers. Uh, there is no stylus support in terms of a digitized stylus for this one. Um, and we haven't heard of a model that's really doing that just yet for the RT version. Um, so basically, that is uh, Windows RT. Uh, as far as we can tell, Build 9200, the final version. Uh, this is in test mode. Uh, kind of a first view. Uh, very similar to the Windows 8. Uh, of course, obviously, the x86 classic programs will not work. And if you're going to do anything, pseudo-series in the classic desktop mode, you're going to need a keyboard and you're going to need to find a mouse.